morning, January 24th, Sunday. Uh, so on some technical news and big shout out to my buddy Kevin. We spent <laughs> several hours uh, looking at my computer yesterday and I believe a miracle has been performed. So as of right now, loading the video portion of this week's episode to uh, YouTube and Rumble. Also, will be on our website, flooding.com. So those who have been asking, uh, I, I'm looking at my, the screen right now and I, I see it's uploading 79% right now. So hopefully that will be up very soon. But I want to thank Kevin. He took so much time yesterday and uh, from his beautiful wife and newborn and I, I just appreciate it. So thank you. And I also want to give a shout out to my uh, buddies. I spent some good time with my lifelong buddies last night. Joe, Jeremy, Adam, Chad, uh, Jason, who I do the podcast with, of course. But I uh, just told them that they left extreme. They actually left a couple hours ago. But uh, I love them and uh, it's just good to see them. And I know what a rare uh, gift it is to have lifelong friends that you don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to. Um, divulge things or rehash things they know so but i woke up with a verse in my head this morning and it was uh, proverbs thirteen twelve. It says hope deferred makes the heart sick but a longing fulfilled is like a tree of life and i'm just thinking about some of my conversations yesterday and um i know sometimes i kind of i can come off as like cup half full or you know I just look at things a certain way that people don't understand or appreciate or um, dismiss and I guess I just want to speak to people who are like genuinely struggling with whether it be things that have happened or uh, things they've witnessed or experienced or um, you know that's just it's real it's like processing stuff is real and it takes a long time and it isn't always the same for everybody like a process of healing or process of maturing isn't the same for everybody and it's not like a set time period and that's something I struggle with you know I feel like things should happen instantly things should you know at this point I should be better or I should be able to move and enjoy this or uh, partake of this and you know I you know I find myself battling with stuff like fear and isolation and anger and, and self-doubt and self-loathing and and it's just it's like a hard thing you know I uh, I was talking to Jason last night and, you know, there's a verse and I believe it's 2 Corinthians 10, 10, where it says those who compare themselves amongst themselves are not wise. And, you know, I try not to compare myself or my journey or my calling, I guess. I don't know. I try not to compare that with other people because I, one thing I do know is I'm pretty, I'm a pretty unique person. And I, I do like that about myself. I think that is neat. But one of the things that in my uniqueness and our individual uniqueness is that we go through things that aren't uncommon. We go through heartbreak, we go through betrayal, we go through disappointment, and we go through times where we don't know, you know, just not knowing. Like oftentimes I feel like a, a rudderless ship, like I don't know. And it's genuinely hard sometimes to hold on to hope and to, you know, not just say, F it. So I don't know. I, I don't, I know it's kind of a, <laughs> a somber message and, uh, you know, sorry about that. But I, I just woke up and it's funny because there's a Tom Petty song, uh, Time to Move On, as, you know, I'm contemplating and thinking and praying about all this stuff and it's, it's bitterly cold outside. It's cold as balls outside. I let I let Shandy out, and she kind of looked up at me like, you know how cold it is. But nonetheless, um, 
yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if this helps. I don't know if this is relatable. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only person that is struggling with this stuff, but you know, I guess it's okay to not be okay. That's what they say. But I would say it's not okay to not stay not okay. That trying to work through the, the process, trying to work through those fears, you know, trying to, you know, dare to have hope. I don't know. But I'm sure I'm just talking to myself. I'm sure nobody can relate. <laughs> but I think the important thing, as always, is to make sure you get in the arena. So, happy Sunday.